In this video we're going to be looking at positional play. So the key thing to playing for any position is to know how to get the white ball where we want it. In all these examples I'm going to ignore using any side spin to try and keep things simple. So we'll be using anything in the range from full top spin, back to plain ball, stun and right the way back to full screw back. So firstly before we bring any other balls into play let's look at how our position on a single pot affects our range of possible positions for the cue ball. If we have a perfectly straight shot then all we really have is a range of positions along that line. If we play with some top spin we can follow along that line and screw back will pull us back along the line. Now we could aim to pot more towards the edge of the pocket to give us a slight angle but again I want to try and keep things fairly simple for the purposes of this video. We also have similar limitations when playing a fine cut. It doesn't really matter whether we play with top spin or screw back, the white is going to head in pretty much the same direction, leaving us limited on where we can position the cue ball. So ideally we want to give ourselves a bit of an angle on each shot to open up a far broader range of possible positions. Once we have that angle, we can then use top spin to push forward into the top cushion and screw back to pull us back into the side cushion and beyond. This gives us a whole area of possible positions in between. So let's take a look at an example where we need to get position on the next shot. If we are potting the red, then we need to make sure we have a position on the black afterwards. If we look at the yellows that could block a possible shot on the black, then we can work out an area that we need to end up in. Whilst pinpoint precision in cue ball control would be ideal, it's often very difficult to do, especially if the cue ball is coming off several cushions and travelling a fair distance. By giving yourself an area to aim for, you're allowing for a margin of error, and are then less likely to be hard on yourself when you're not precisely where you wanted to be. If you then aim to end up in the middle of that area, then you're giving yourself the maximum margin of error. By just playing a fairly firm plain ball shot in this example, that should be enough to bring us off two cushions and end up in the middle of the area. The nice thing about this particular example is that we can afford to overhit the ball because if we bounce off a further two cushions we're still in the same area. If we introduce a couple of yellows down that end of the table then our area is decreased and we need to be careful not to run into them. This therefore greatly reduces our margin of error. So what about when we need to work out position for several shots at a time? We can use the same principles for working out position, but we also need to plan our order of shots and possible route around the table. I find the best way to do this is to start at the black and work backwards. In this example, if we're yellows and we're going for the clearance, then the black can only be potted in two pockets. This means that we need to end up somewhere in this area to give us a chance for either pocket. To get into that area, then we need to look at which ball gives us the best opportunity to get there. In this case, it would be this yellow to the middle. We also know that we need to finish slightly above it so that we can run down into that area. The best way of getting into that position is to screw back a couple of inches from this ball to the corner. That means that we need to end up fairly straight on that ball. That leaves us with the opening ball, which again we need to screw back a few inches to leave us fairly straight on the second ball. We can then go into the clearance confident that we have a route that will leave us with a shot on the black. Here's another example. This time, see if you can plan the shots yourself by using the same principles. Look at the black and see which pockets it pots into, then decide where you need to end up to pot it. Next, decide which ball is best placed to get you there. Keep working your way back until you have your first ball and your whole route planned out. Here's how I went about it. Let me know in the comments below if you came up with the same route or maybe if you came up with something different.
Thank you.